Ross, why do you need a hotel room? I was supposed to move into my new place today, but they're still painting it. I can't be around those fumes, and they've already rented my old apartment. Grande decaf latte, please. I am literally on the streets. You just ordered a $4 cup of coffee on the street, maybe a tad dramatic. <laughs> well, I gotta start calling around, see if I can find something. Hmm. You know, Ross, if you're stuck, actually, my dad is going to San Francisco for the weekend. You could always stay with me. Wow. That would sure make things easier. Okay. Well, then, that, that's settled. That's that then. That oh, oh, you were just being polite. You didn't really expect me to no, take you up on it. No, it's... no, not at all. I wouldn't have offered it if it wasn't something I wanted to do. You should know that. All right. Oh. Here you go. There's your check. Oh, I'll get that. No, 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 let me get that. Okay, thanks. Well, then, lucky me. I'm getting everything I want today. Listen, Frazier, thank you so much for this. I won't be in a position, I promise. You won't even know I'm here. You have 13 messages. I had my calls forwarded. I hope you don't mind. Hey, Roz, it's Marco. I'm coming to town this weekend. Are you busy Saturday night? Late? Call me. Obviously, Marco and I haven't talked for a long time. <laughs> Something tells me you never talked for a long time. Roz, this is Paula Garrett. Rick's mom? We just found out about the baby, and, well, we think it's important that we meet you. Uh, we're leaving to see Rick in Paris day after tomorrow, so any time before then would be fine. Uh, I I'm running out now. Uh, maybe I'll try you later. Oh, my God. No, Roz, just calm down. What do they want? Well, maybe they just want to meet you. They are the grandparents of your child. Look, I worked all this out with Rick. Yes. He's 20 years old. He's still in college, and it's best for everybody if I raise this baby by myself. Well, I know that, but... Now I'm supposed to put up with in-laws and I don't even have a husband? That's like posing nude for your art teacher and still flunking the course. <laughs> Shut up. I needed the credits. <laughs> what if they won't leave me alone? What if they, what if they don't think I'm a fit? Mother. So what if they turn out to be nice, supportive people that you're glad to have in your life? I just don't want to do this, Frazier. It's not comfortable. Oh, Roz. You know what? I... I could go with you, if you like. I mean... Oh, oh better yet, we could have them here tomorrow night. You know, Niles and I have that dog show around 8 o'clock. They could come before that. I don't know. Oh, that, that's Mrs. Garrett. I'm not here. Hello? Yes, she is. Yes, she did get your message. No, no, I'm... I'm afraid she won't be able to meet you. Yes, I understand that you're upset. I'm terribly sorry. Goodbye. Thank you, Fraser. Thank you. That was Marco. Now we're calling Mrs. Garrett. <laughs>